This is probably a boss. Oh. Good job, Keeper. We must be almost at the top of the workshop now. But as I expected, there are some security measures in place. It's a sign that Marduk doesn't want us to come here. The keys to the door should be hidden somewhere around the workshop. I saw some promising looking treasure chests on the way here, but alas, I was afraid they might be mimics. Those mimics are quite annoying to someone like me, who prefers to get the treasure exclusively through subterfuge. I can deal with traps, but ancient spears that were banished inside of treasure chests? No clue how to get past that. Not yet. Alright, let's go ahead and swap my monsters back to what they were before. So, we'll get that. Dragons real quick. And I put in my boss fighting group, which would be... That. 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 Well done, Keeper. I'm happy to know that I can count on the support of the Monster Sanctuary. You didn't find a champion monster around here yet, though, did you? There's gotta be one somewhere around here. I know Marduk wouldn't leave this place unguarded. So let's press on, but also be on your guard. I apologize for those irregular champion monsters on behalf of the entire Order of Alchemists, but also on behalf of myself. Some of my work has gone into the creation of elixir that creates those champion monsters, you see. I spent some time trying to find an elixir that reverses the champion transformation, but I don't think it's possible. Sorry. There's the monster right there. Goblin Pilot. Alright, that's the last monster in my monster journal. Let's talk to the dude. Found and defeated the champion monster! Splendid! Let's find out what it was guarding. Hmm. Infernal beast from the bowels of the earth. It is as I had feared. What is the meaning of this, Alchemist? We were all deceived, you see. They called Marduk a devil. How close they were to the truth. Let me explain how I came to doubt our leader, Marduk. When I learned that he has been alive for hundreds of years, I was astonished as you'd expect. I believed that he had found the legendary Philosopher's Stone, able to postpone the human aging process. That may only exist in the realm of myths. Eventually, I realized, the only way for a human to reach immortality was not through an alchemical breakthrough, but through the occult. 
Of course, I would never meddle with the occult myself, but in my research, I found evidence that Marduk might have done so. The fact that Marduk isn't ever letting us know more than we need to know for his purposes is tipped me off too. True academics should share their knowledge with each other, but now I'm getting sidetracked. What I mean to say is, despite my colleagues revering Marduk as the savior of alchemy, it became clear to me that he was only using us. This room, this statue, proves my findings. There is some connection between Marduk and the occult. To be more exact, a connection between Marduk and Mad Eyes. Perhaps he's not even human himself after all, or he's just a pawn in a much bigger scheme. Who knows? Is there anything else you can tell us? Not much, I'm afraid. I heard from other alchemists that Marduk is hiding in the abandoned tower. But even I can't confirm or refute that fact, to be honest. It's just hearsay. Never even met him personally. He seems to only fully trust two of the alchemists, Zosimos and Kynes. That's all I can tell you. I will keep wandering the sanctuary to find out more. If I find anything else, I'll return to the teleporter stone here in the workshop. That's where you'll find me. That's probably it for this update of Monster Sanctuary. Hey, Tran! Phew, I'm glad I made it in time. I heard about the Key of Power and all that, you know? How all four Spectral Keepers need to be there to open the door to the abandoned tower? Well, to be honest, I don't know if I still qualify as a Spectral Keeper after what happened. But still, I want to help. And I wanted to let you know that I've become much stronger, too. Let me prove it to you in a duel. Dude, you're just gonna come up and wheel on me? Alright. Not really thrilled with this idea. This time, I remember, I only get two moves! <laughs> You just missed everybody?
Yeesh. <laughs> that was a good fight, wasn't it? Remember when we first met in the Blue Caves? We were both just Keeper Aspirants, while Julia and Leonard were Keeper Lancers. Now I'm a Keeper Ranger, and I thought I've grown so much. But I think you've grown way more than I have. Don't discourage yourself. Your Spectral Toad would be proud to see you right now, Will. Thank you, but Tran shows me how much better I can still become. That is true, but because of your drive, I pronounce you worthy of the title of a Spectral Keeper. You should come with us. Thank you. It means a lot to me. I'll go ahead to the door to the abandoned tower then. It should be just right ahead. The abandoned tower is not accessible in the current early access version of the game. You've reached the end of the story content so far. Thank you for testing the early access version of the game. Your support really helps us to make the best possible version of the game that we can. We'd greatly appreciate if you share your opinion with us on the Steam forums, in a review, or on our Discord server. We hope to bring you the next update very soon. Until then, perhaps you'd enjoy trying out PvP or the Infinity Arena Challenge. Alright. There is an item that I can pick up called the Cauldron. Welcome back, Keeper. Let's start building up a productive alliance between monster keepers and alchemists, shall we? I have brewed up a number of potions that should prove quite handy for you. Welcome back, Keeper. I'm afraid I'm all out of potions. I had failed at getting this chest in the underworld to get there. Actually, all you have to do is save your double jump for after you can grapple, like so. Inside is just a tone plus five, which raises your maximum mana and your mana regeneration. I had also failed at getting this item in the mystical workshop. I wanted to put this off until I collected all the monsters because I figured maybe it'd be easier with a new monster. Well, I still have the same abilities I did before, so I could have gotten this earlier. Want to help strengthen the Stronghold Monster Army? Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and donate monsters. I try to keep one of everything in this stockpile. So we've already got uh, it set up in order. So the names might be familiar because I, I, I came up with three names for every class, um, including evolved classes. So like, this was the magma pillar before. So that's the, that's the name I gave it. So anyways, all of these I'm gonna go ahead and donate. Uh, I did manage to get more of these eggs from reward boxes, so I can give away the Akla because I hatched a light and dark version for myself. Same thing for the Qlin. I also get promotional items, for example, the Shard of Winter, Magic Clay, I got more Raduga, more Goblin King, so all of these stuff are just spares. Let's go and donate these. This is a great addition to the Monster Army. hesitate because I need to make sure that, <laughs> that I'm doing the right thing. Like, I'm not giving away the, the monster I want to keep. Basically, it's everybody after the spinner.
is all of them. So I gave to the monster army every monster that I had duplicates of. So for example, I don't have duplicate Spectre Eagles, obviously. I do not have duplicate Beetleoids. Let's see here. What else is unique? The Scorch is unique. I don't... Uh, let's see, it's not on this page. Yeah, the Scorch is unique. Let's see, the Elder Gel is unique. The Goblin Pilot is unique. Unique as in, like, at this time in the game, I do not have access to more of them. So, for example, before, um, let's see here, like, the key lens and, and, and such, they were unique, but as the game updates rolled in, there were ways to access them, and I, I imagine that there'll be ways to get more of these guys later on. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and end this episode by heading to the Infinity Arena to showcase my, my current army after having completed a mystical workshop. The premise of this build is assembling shields and then hitting the enemy with your shields. I actually tried to build like this before, but the shield burst was so weak. However, these these uh, mystical workshop creatures have a better version of shield burst, which is just... I hit you normally, and then I hit you with my shields. The difference is, previously shield burst just like it re removed your shields and did some damage to the enemy. This one... I, I, I'm building up more shields and hitting them, and it only takes me one turn to do all of that. Rather than two turns. But it only takes me one turn to hit them twice, rather than taking two turns to build up a shield and then burst it. Now, the way the backup characters are set up, it's for Keeper Battles, and I basically selected them based off of their elements. That way, my, my revert, my... If you were to, like, add one point for every resistance and minus one point for every weakness, my team is perfectly equal or balanced or zero for all elements. Now, I could probably get further if I chose to use items, and I think you even get your items back if you use them during Infinity Arena. However, I'm just gonna go as far as I'm just gonna go as far as I reasonably can without stressing too much about it. Because this is not a, like an Infinity Arena episode. This is just to go ahead and conclude the Mystical Workshop update by using Mystical Workshop characters.
have a 68 charge attack. <laughs> It's primarily only worth using Thunderstorm if I have 15 charges because of an ability that Daka has. Otherwise, his magic attack is just not that powerful. Um, the enemy in this case was weak to lightning, so it was worth it. This is probably the end of the road. Oh, 
Well, that's no bueno. That's it. That's that is as far as I think I can take this. Yeah, I know I'm shy of a hundred, but uh, there's really no point to losing the next battle. I should end on a good note, really. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Tran wins Monster Sanctuary. I'll see you in the next update.